I am your voice. So to every parent who dreams for their child and every child who dreams for their future, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you. I will fight for you and I will win for you. To all Americans tonight, in all of our cities and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. I am officially running for President of the United States. We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice. That's true, but actually I am. I think I am a nice person. I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you, thank you very much. Hillary Clinton claimed that the reason for her illegal use of a private insecure email, right? She claimed this was that it was more convenient to use just one device. Oh. The fact is the FBI director said Hillary used several different servers, even though she said it was one, and numerous mobile devices to send and read emails. In other words, Hillary's secret email server existed for the reason we all know, to keep her emails from ever being read by the public, had nothing to do with just wanting to use one device, okay? We understand that, but that's not what she said. She said something very different under oath, she said something very different to everybody. Now, by the way, and how about the 33,000 emails that were wiped out? 33,000! Our enemies may have a blackmail file on Cricket Hillary, and this alone means that she should not be allowed to serve as President of the United States. We now know, just wrote this out, we now know that she lied to the country when she said she did not send classified information on her server. She lied. She sent vast amounts of classified information, including information classified as top secret. Top secret, okay? And this is where they said that she was extremely careless and frankly, I say, grossly incompetent. She will be such a lousy president, folks. Here are a few of the things that we are going to do. This you will like, a massive tax cut for working Americans and a 15% tax rate for small business. We will unleash an energy revolution, the likes of which we have never seen before. According to the Institute for Energy Research, lifting the restrictions on all sources of American energy will do a lot of things. Number one, increase GDP by more than $100 billion annually, money we desperately need.
Add over 500,000 new and high paying jobs annually. Increase annual wages by more than $30 billion over the next seven years. Think of that. Increase federal, state, and local tax revenues by almost $6 trillion over four decades. Increase total economic activity by more than $20 trillion over the next longer period of time. We're going to stop all forms of cheating. We're going to bring our workers back. We're going to bring our country back. We're going to bring companies back into our country. They're going to hire lots of people. You're going to get great jobs again. You're going to get jobs that pay you a lot more money than you're making right now because I know what's happened to the American worker. It's going to be a great day in America. Government will listen to the people again. The voters, not the special interests and lobbyists, will be in charge, total charge. Our economy will grow. Jobs will come back. New factories are going to stretch all across the nation. And boy, are we going to have them come back to Virginia, that I can tell you. And I have a very special message for you tonight. We're going to win Ohio. We're going to win the White House. And we're going to bring back your jobs. When we negotiate trade deals, we will make sure that they are going to be fair and balanced. No more one-sided trade deals where we open our markets, but they close their markets. Not anymore. No more trade deals where we can't get our product into their country but they can dump all the product they want into ours. No more. President Obama has said that he thinks the greatest threat we face is global warming. Remember, President Obama and Hillary Clinton, sometimes referred to as Crooked Hillary, say the words radical Islamic terrorism can't even say it. they don't want to get involved everybody knows what's happening they can't say the words now while President Obama and Hillary Clinton are shrinking America's military they're also expanding think of it expanding through allowing it to happen the military of Iran They're doing this with their disastrous deal that puts Iran on the path to nuclear weapons and gives them another $150 billion, not to mention the $400 million in cash, which turned out to be a ransom payment after all, just like I said. In other words, our president lied to us. He lied to us. You know what? If I don't make it, I wasted a lot of money, time, and energy. That I can tell you. A lot. But I think we're going to win big. I actually think there's something.